Hey guys, so today I want to show you how I varnish my paintings. But before I go into how and demonstrate that, I want to show you why I would do that. As you can see in this painting, I really hope you can see uh, what I'm talking about here. But there's a lot of inconsistencies in the painting where a lot of the surface is extremely glossy and other parts of the surface are very matte. And you know, when it's glossy, I want it to be a little more glossy, but the varnish that I actually have is satin. So it won't be too glossy, it won't be too matte. When you have a matte finish, then the darks and the lights, they all become sort of a mid-tone. When you have high gloss, you have your darks getting pushed really far back and your lights going really far forward. So with this satin, I think it'll be a really nice way to unify the entire piece and let's get right into it. Okay, so this is basically all we'll need. Um, just a nice brush that too many hairs don't fall out. And my experience with this one, it's a pretty good brush to do this. Um, and some satin gambar. So what we'll do is just pour some of this gambar right on the painting. Couple of drops, not too many. We can add more later if we need to. And then we'll take our brush and spread the game bar accordingly. Make sure we go both ways. I think maybe we can use a little more. So I'll put a few more drops on here. And this should work perfectly. And make sure it's very thin and consistent throughout the entire painting. So you don't get areas where it's really jumbled up and other areas where it's thin or still matte. And I don't know if you can see the difference, but I definitely see a huge difference in the way that this whole piece is now unified. So now we're pretty much finished. Let's take a look. I hope you can see the difference in this painting. Um, it's consistently, it seems glossy, but once it dries, it'll be more of a satin. But the important thing is that it'll be consistent throughout the entire piece. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I varnish my paintings. Um, if you haven't yet, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me today, and see you next time.